now if you're planning to cool off of the pool with the kids this week, you're going to want to hear new drowning prevention guidelines before going in the water. For the children that are in that eight, one to four age range, they actually can have an event simply because they're not being watched. And I think the most important thing is that we understand someone who is paying attention and aware at all times of where their child is because that is the number one reason for those children to have a drowning event. Dr. Love points out that when it comes to very young children, drowning doesn't necessarily happen in a large pool. She says it only takes two inches of water for a child to drown. Items such as buckets, bathtubs, even small inflatable backyard pools are places where little ones could potentially drown. Dr. Love says parents should always keep small backyard pools empty and deflated when not in use. The guidelines acknowledge the importance of water safety awareness, basic swim skills, and the ability for adults to recognize and respond to a swimmer in trouble. While swimming lessons are important and recommended for children over the age of one, Dr. Love warns that enrolling infants in swimming lessons can sometimes give parents a false sense of security. The data shows that if children are over the age of one and the parent deems them to be developmentally appropriate, then taking a swimming class actually does reduce their risk of drowning. But the data absolutely does not support that if children learn how to swim less than the age of one, that that would reduce their risk. Now, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics, drowning is the leading cause of injury-related death in U.S. children between the ages of 1 and 4.